Hello, and welcome to the how-to or port forwarding tutorial for the Motorola NVG 510, uh, used primarily and predominantly by AT&T for its U-verse uh, internet accounts and connections nowadays. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is uh, find out what what your program uses for a port. Some programs use uh, predetermined ports. Um, some don't. Some older games and things like that will have set ports or they'll use one as a default though they can change. Um, you can change, uh, some will allow you to change them like this which is a simple file server. Uh, you can actually set your port to whatever you want it and then you'll use this to set up the port forwarding yourself as you desire. Um, now if you have other things such as Minecraft seems to be a popular topic for port forwarding and especially for this modem as it's getting shoved down everybody's throat. Uh, from what I understand the default port for Minecraft is 25565 and so you'll want to make sure that that's correct and whenever you before you start doing the rest of this you want to make sure that your application whatever it is is set up for the port that you think it's set up for. If you have to configure it yourself, or um, or just make confirm that it, that that is the port. Uh, once you've got that decided and you know what port you're looking for, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into Windows Firewall or Security. Uh, I'm using uh, Windows XP. Whoops. So. Uh, you'll have to uh, sort of uh, guess along with where I'm going if you have a different operating system. Uh, mine's going to be in Windows Firewall in the control panel. Um, from what I've found, you can leave Windows Firewall on. Uh, you, the exception tab. Uh, basically, when your program starts it will probably tell you that it's being blocked and you'll have to unblock it but then past that you'll also probably want to add an exception to the port that the program uses just to be sure you can either add a program manually uh, which will allow you to look through the things you have and you can you can browse to it and usually in the program files or you can browse to a very specific location or you can just add the port which I did with the 7000 there which is what uh, my program is using currently and you just add whatever the name is you want here um, so you would use example and then you just put the port such as 7000 and TCP is usually what you're going to want so uh, there's no problem there and then you will just hit OK as it will ungray whenever you enter a number there. You can change the scope but most likely you're going to want to keep it on any computer unless you're doing something really specific but that's beyond this tutorial. So once you've got a port set up here in Windows Firewall as an exception uh, you'll also probably want to go into the advanced section which should have your your connection that you connect to the internet to. Now it should be checked. And if it's not, that's sort of a that's sort of an iffy, questionable situation. But most likely it will be if your firewall is on. So go into settings on it, and it will bring up this screen. Now it's possible all these will be unchecked. To allow other computers to connect to your computer. Uh, in the way that you're wanting, you're going to want to check uh, at least web server and mm, possibly secure web server. I'm really not sure on these, but I know that, that my thing started working after I enabled these. Uh, these are all email. Uh, FTP might be useful. If it doesn't work, you might en enable that. But I'm pretty sure these are the important ones. If you don't allow these, I don't think any other computers can call in to you. And you can edit these also. And I don't have any idea what all that number is, so 
and then there's a if you go to the other tab there's a lot of options here I don't have any of them selected and I'm my ports working so I'm going to leave that alone uh, I don't know exactly what this entails but it seems to be important so once you've got that you've got your Windows firewall you got your exceptions with this a very specific part of the exceptions and the Windows firewall in general then and you got your port then you're ready to go to your actual modem configuration page which you use your browser to do I've already typed mine in actually I have mine bookmarked and it will be let me see if I can move this oh, just a moment Let's see there I think it's auto panning where I'm wanting it to be uh, this is the AT&T thing um, I'm trying to go up above it there we go there is the the browser uh, for the NVG 510 uh, most commonly and probably universally the way you get to the setup page is typing in 192.168.1.254 and hitting enter in your browser and it will bring you to this page which is the AT&T Motorola setup now it will have a lot of options but you don't really need to worry about the rest of them uh, the first thing you're going to need to do firewall and NAT gaming now I've already set mine up but I'll show you how to do it again um, this actually has a number of stock games already set uh, with their ports and everything so if, if what you're looking for is in here then you're good to go already and you just need to select it such as Asheron's call select it uh, select the device it's needed for if you have more than one device like a wireless uh, a device also which I don't uh, then you just click add and then adds it to the to the gaming uh, IP addresses that other computers can call to <clears throat> my my program did not have that and I don't think Minecraft does so you'll actually have to go to the manage custom services first so you click on that and it just has blanks here and it's simple enough you just want to enter your name of whatever it is descriptive so you'll know what it's what you're gonna look for and then you just enter your port and you enter the same single de uh, number all three times. So if you were entering 8,000, you'd enter 8,000 in the from and to range and in the base port range. And you'd leave the protocol on both uh, because that's just, that just covers all your bases. And you do add. So now it's there, sample. So now you go back to NAT Gaming and now you go, uh, now you go to here you go in your pull down and you go down to wherever I used sample so it's going to be S but it's not going to it's going not going to start with an S it's going to start with an apostrophe but it's still going to be with the S's um, oh it's at the I, I don't know why it's at the bottom here but it is uh, it usually doesn't do that it usually puts it with the abbreviations with the letters in alphabetical order like you would expect I don't know why it put it at the bottom but there it is there's my sample and I can just add it and now you see it's there it doesn't tell you it doesn't give you its details although you can probably look them up uh, if you want to delete this you'll have to you'll actually have to delete this and go back to the NAT gaming custom services to change it it's 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 not really confusing but it's tedious but so once you got this this part is set you don't need uh, you may need to do this the the IP pass-through still in the firewall section right next to NAT gaming it starts as off you might want to set it to default server 
and then I entered actually my my address but I probably shouldn't have but I'm not sure about that so if your things don't work uh, do that last as a last resort because you may not have to do that so once you've done that and you click save you can go back to your program and then you can actually you can actually use a proxy because chances are you won't be able to go to your own um, address on the internet because you're behind your own firewall and you won't be able to access it the same I get an error when I try to go to my own number but if you type in your own number if you uh, copy and paste your own address and then type surf anonymously it will go to your if you have something there if you have a program running right now I don't if I start up my program I will have uh, it will actually bring up a page that's related to my program because my program creates a page but this uh, these will let you do that the proxy proxy programs will let you serve addresses from another another computer to tell if, if other computers outside of yours can reach your computer so once you've done that you should be set up and good to go